One kid has the power to change it all and he doesn't even know it. Why are you late, Philip? Um, I missed my bus. Well, why'd you miss the bus? Because I slept in. His teacher senses something is up, and his teacher doesn't like it. Since something is up, I don't like it. Don't keep working. His whole life has been horrible. <sighs> Until that one fateful day, when he experiences his awakening. This time. Will Philip run from his problem? Or will he stay and fight? Not coming to theaters near you. Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool, truly. Learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's, going on? What's good in the Milwaukee neighborhood, folks? It's your girl, Annie. And I'm Ebony. Don't forget about me, Emma. We're going to start today's show with another 100 million word challenge update. Sixth grade winner is... Cameron Dean, who read the book, The Dead and the Gone. Seventh grade winner is Naomi Meyer. The book she read was Beautiful Music for Ugly Children. The eighth grade winner is Zach Bowman, who read Die Rupi Kid, Old School. Six grades were counts at 19,057,745. You guys must be superstars, because this word count is out of this world. <laughs> Seventh grades at 15,870,982. Your guys' word count is bananas. Eighth grades were counts at 13 million. 575,746. What a sour word count. Woo! Staff's words count at 6,232,095. Caution, your word count is dangerously low. Total word counts at 54,736,568. Our word count is growing. We're over halfway there. We'd like to give a huge special shout out and thanks to everyone who came out to the dance last Friday night. 
We appreciate your behavior and willingness to include others in the fun. Burning up in the atmosphere, bright lights above. I remember when we were young. Ooh. Falling hopelessly through the night sky. I don't want to give up. I don't care if the whole world sees that. to a close. Thank you to everyone who donated. If you still have cans to donate, you can bring them to the Wichita Center. If you are someone in need of food assistance, please see Harry in the counseling's office. <clears throat> who brought in your cans. We brought in one, two, three, four, five boxes of canned food items. Yum. We'll be selling candy cane grams in the cafeteria next week during lunch. Come by and cop a candy cane for a special someone in your life. Do you have anybody that is dear to your heart that you would buy a candy cane for? Sure. Nice. Do you have someone near and dear to your heart, or even yourself, that you would like to buy a candy cane and a sweet message for? Well, the candy grams are here. Suckers from the 17th to the 19th. We sell them for 50 cents or three shrugs. 
or delivering them on day ones to fourth period and day twos to second period. You must know this person's fourth period day one or second period day two. Write a message to your close friend, secret crush, significant other, or even yourself. Where's Dr. Phil? I need to find Dr. Phil. I love Dr. Phil. Oh, and then also. Go. Anywhere you look, you can find me on the low with my nose in a book Turning through the pages, reading through the script About to hit a million words, yeah it's lit, 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 lit Said it's lit, 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 lit Yeah it's lit, 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 lit Hi, my name is Melanie And I'm Lily And this is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Ebertali. The book is about a closeted gay kid named Simon who starts emailing another closeted gay dude anonymously and a jerk decides to find his emails on a school computer and then uses them to blackmail him into hooking him up with his best friend Abby. Um, I enjoyed this book because it had a bunch of little fun little stories about the characters and their past and like what they did with their siblings and about their families. I like this book because it wasn't just an average coming of age, coming out, LGBTQ plus story. Um, I've, the type of readers for this book are young adult and um... Yeah! LGBT youth too, in a nutshell. So yeah, hope you read it. it I don't think it's in the school library. It's in Mr. Dix's class. It's in Mr. Classroom. Dix's class and Ms. Ms. Vernon's and... I'm guessing Miss Friedman has. <laughs> but yeah, that's. It was also made into a movie, so you can go check that out too, but read this first, so. Bye. Your hip, my hip, my Your hip is fine. <laughs> the tournament of plays is back at Ralph this year. Mr. Wilson will be directing a play called Hoodie that features Rao Middle School students. Auditions start tomorrow after school. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair if you're gonna be doing the tournament of plays. Oh yes. Holmes, if you want to enter, you must answer me this. For those who aspire to be upon the stage in front of thee, when and where shall thou lay rest? to audition for the play presenting their best. This Thursday on Friday, the 13th and 14th after school in the upper gym, after consulting the boys and girls director, Rachel. A short monologue will be provided. Day two will feature short scenes between auditioning students. Nothing needs to be memorized. The show is called Hoodie, and it is an ensemble piece. There will be 18 students in it, so it will be competitive. I will be directing it, so you can mention Austin slash Thor. No one knows me as Mr. Wilson. It will be judged at the Milwaukee Tournament of the Plays on in February. Just a reminder that Elks Lodge Free Throw Contest takes place next Wednesday during lunch. Is. Lunch is. <laughs> Wednesday, December 19th, Rao Basketball will be participating with the Milwaukee Elks Club to host a free throw competition during all three lunches. Everyone will get five warm-up shots and then shoot 10 free throws. We will have an 11-year-old boys champion and an 11-year-old girls champion, 12 to 13-year-old boys champion and a 12 to 13-year-old girls champion. 
In order to participate, you can't turn 14 before April 1st of 2019. I don't know why that is the cutoff date, but it's the rule. The four winners will then be invited to participate in the local Elks Lodge free throw contest on Saturday, January 13th, 2019. The winner of that day's competition will then compete at the state free throw competition for an opportunity to go to Chicago and compete in the national tournament. Oh, the winner of that day's competition will then compete at the state free throw competition for the opportunity to go to Chicago for nationals. So Wednesday, December 19th, 2018, come on down to the gym during your lunch if you'd like to participate in the Round Middle School free throw contest. Remember to stop by the when are we ever going to use this board in the main hallway to help us solve the most recent while we got problem. When are we ever when are we ever going to solve When are we ever 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 going to use this Nora's birthday is just around the corner I have 65 friends who I'm going to make cupcakes for 34 people want vanilla and 31 want chocolate. The vanilla cupcake recipe makes 24 cupcakes and requires the following. 1 fourth cup salted butter, 1 fourth cup vegetable oil, 3 fourth cup sugar, 3 fourth cup buttermilk, 2 large eggs, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, 1 and 3 fourth cups of flour, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, and 1 fourth teaspoon salt. The chocolate cupcake recipe makes 14 cupcakes and requires the following. 3 fourth cup of flour, half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, 3 fourth teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 2 large eggs, half cup of sugar, half cup of light brown sugar, 1 third cup of vegetable oil, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a half cup of buttermilk. And we need your help. How many of each ingredients will she need? When are we ever, 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 We'd, We'd like, like to introduce a brand new short film series titled The Adventures with Daryl. That sounds awesome, but I gotta ask my mom. Be right back. Okay, I'll be right out here. Bye. Hey, Mama, can I go to a party with Annie, Ebony, and Emma? Yes, of course. Just be home by 11:30, and make sure to drink a lot of water so you're hydrated while you're dancing. Okay. Bye. Have fun. Okay. I had to be home by 11:30, but this part, this part will be fun. Yeah, okay, but we have to go meet up with Annie and Ebony first. Okay. Okay, let's go. What's up, buddies? Hey! Hi! Hi. Oh, hey buddies. Oh. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Okay, see you guys. Okay. I'll, I'll do my own thing. Okay. Bye. Hi, Mr. Dix. Oh, look, it's Mr. Dix. He's a nice guy. Oh, what, what are you doing around to me? No!
Thanks for joining us this week, Shamrocks. Much love to you and yours. Peace and be easy. Hold on, we're back. Go. You're late, Philip. Well, why are you late? Well, why, 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 why are you late, Philip? Wait. Yeah. I love that flight. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <Ooh. laughs> okay, we're starting. Three, two, what's a good? Three, two. Staff scored count at six minutes. <laughs> two. <laughs> me. Mention me as Austin slash Thor. No one knows no. me. As no, he's gonna put the picture of him over me. Okay. Yeah. Reset while we got problems. Three, three, two, one. We, we like, like to, to introduce, introduce a brand. brand. Hey, mom. Can I go to a party with Annie? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Annie. 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 Hi, Annie.